Hello. Today, let's talk about enteritis. Enteritis refers to the inflammation of the small intestine. The condition is usually caused by an infection, either viral or bacterial. The most common bacteria that cause enteritis include Salmonella, Shigella, and Campylobacter. Viral infections that can cause enteritis include rotavirus, norovirus, and adenovirus. Other factors that can increase the risk of developing enteritis include a weakened immune system, poor sanitation, contaminated food or water, and exposure to infected individuals. Symptoms of enteritis can include diarrhea, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, fever, and dehydration. Treatment usually involves rest, hydration, and medications to relieve symptoms. In severe cases, Hospitalization may be necessary to manage complications such as dehydration or electrolyte imbalances. The most common cause of enteritis is an infection, which can be caused by viruses or bacteria, such as Salmonella, Shigella, Campylobacter, Rotavirus, Norovirus, and Adenovirus. These pathogens can enter the body through contaminated food or water, poor sanitation, or exposure to infected individuals. Enteritis can also be caused by other factors, such as inflammatory bowel disease, celiac disease, radiation therapy, and certain medications. Inflammatory bowel disease, such as Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, can cause chronic inflammation in the small intestine, leading to enteritis. Celiac disease, an autoimmune disorder triggered by gluten, can damage the lining of the small intestine and cause enteritis. Radiation therapy, used to treat cancer, can damage the intestinal lining and cause enteritis as a side effect. Certain medications, such as nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, antibiotics, and chemotherapy drugs, can also irritate the intestinal lining and cause enteritis. The symptoms of enteritis can vary depending on the underlying cause and the individual's immune system. The most common symptoms include diarrhea, which may be watery or bloody abdominal pain and cramping nausea and vomiting fever and dehydration, which can lead to dry mouth, thirst, fatigue, dizziness, and decreased urine output. In severe cases, enteritis can cause weight loss, anemia, and growth problems due to malabsorption of nutrients. If the inflamed intestine becomes blocked, enteritis can cause bowel obstruction, which can be life-threatening and may require surgery. In rare cases, enteritis can lead to sepsis, a potentially fatal condition in which the infection spreads to the bloodstream and affects multiple organs. If you suspect that you have enteritis, it is important to seek medical attention promptly to receive an accurate diagnosis and appropriate treatment. Diagnosis of enteritis usually involves a physical examination, medical history review, and laboratory tests. The physical exam may include palpating the abdomen to check for tenderness or bloating. The medical history review may focus on recent travel, exposure to contaminated food or water, or recent medication use. Laboratory tests may include a stool sample analysis to check for infection, blood tests to check for signs of inflammation or anemia, or imaging tests such as an X-ray or CT scan to look for signs of obstruction or inflammation. The treatment of enteritis depends on the underlying cause and severity of the condition. For bacterial or viral infections, the main treatment is usually supportive care, which involves rest, hydration, and symptomatic relief. Anti-diarrheal medications may be prescribed to control diarrhea, and pain relievers may be given for abdominal pain. Antibiotics may be prescribed for bacterial infections, but they are not effective against viral infections. In cases of inflammatory bowel disease or celiac disease, treatment may involve medications to reduce inflammation and manage symptoms, such as corticosteroids, immunomodulators, or biologics. A gluten-free diet is usually recommended for people with celiac disease. In cases where medication or dietary changes are not effective, surgery may be necessary to remove damaged sections of the intestine. Prevention of enteritis involves practicing good hygiene and food safety habits. This includes washing hands frequently, especially before eating or preparing food, cooking food thoroughly, 
avoiding contaminated water sources, and avoiding close contact with people who have gastrointestinal infections. In summary, the diagnosis and treatment of enteritis depend on the underlying cause and severity of the condition. Prompt medical attention is important to receive an accurate diagnosis and appropriate treatment, which may include supportive care, medication, dietary changes, or surgery. Prevention of enteritis involves practicing good hygiene and food safety habits. Enteritis can be prevented by taking simple precautions and practicing good hygiene and food safety habits. Here are some ways to prevent enteritis. Wash your hands frequently Wash your hands with soap and water before eating, preparing food, and after using the bathroom. This will help prevent the spread of harmful bacteria and viruses that can cause enteritis. Cook food thoroughly Cook all meat, poultry, and fish thoroughly to kill any bacteria that may be present. Use a food thermometer to make sure the internal temperature of the food reaches the recommended safe temperature. Avoid contaminated water Only drink water from a safe source, such as bottled water or tap water that has been boiled or treated with chlorine. Avoid drinking water from lakes, rivers, or streams that may be contaminated. Practice good food handling practices Use separate cutting boards and utensils for raw meat and ready-to-eat foods to prevent cross-contamination. Keep food at safe temperatures, either refrigerated or hot, to prevent the growth of harmful bacteria. Be cautious when traveling If you are traveling to a developing country, be cautious about what you eat and drink. Avoid eating street food and drinking tap water, and be sure to use bottled water for brushing your teeth. Get vaccinated Certain vaccines, such as the rotavirus vaccine, can help prevent viral infections that can cause enteritis. Practice good personal hygiene Avoid close contact with people who are sick, and cover your mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing to prevent the spread of germs. By taking these simple precautions, you can greatly reduce your risk of developing enteritis and other gastrointestinal infections. Enteritis can cause a range of complications depending on the underlying cause and severity of the condition. Some of the potential complications of enteritis include Dehydration Diarrhea and vomiting can lead to dehydration, which can be especially dangerous for young children, older adults, and people with weakened immune systems. Malabsorption Inflammation or damage to the lining of the small intestine can interfere with the absorption of nutrients from food, leading to malnutrition and other health problems. Intestinal Obstruction In severe cases, enteritis can cause intestinal obstruction, which occurs when the intestine is partially or completely blocked. This can cause severe abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting and may require surgery to remove the blockage. Septicemia Bacterial infections can sometimes spread to the bloodstream, causing a potentially life-threatening condition called septicemia. Chronic enteritis Some people may develop chronic enteritis, which can cause long-term digestive problems and may require ongoing treatment. The outlook for enteritis depends on the underlying cause and severity of the condition. Most cases of enteritis are acute and resolve within a few days to a week with proper treatment and supportive care. However, in some cases, enteritis can lead to more serious complications, such as those mentioned above. With prompt medical attention and proper treatment, most people with enteritis are able to recover fully without any long-term complications. It is important to seek medical attention if you experience severe or persistent symptoms of enteritis, such as severe abdominal pain, bloody diarrhea, or signs of dehydration. Thanks for watching.